What's going on everybody? Welcome back to GMI's World. Today we're going to be talking about your free player that you're going to get at 89 overall by grinding the solos. I know that it says right there a nat 95 overall, but after checking with EA Sports, it appears that that's wrong wording at this moment and that you will only be getting an 89 overall, which is why when you go to the milestones, it only shows you the one tier. Even though there are a certain amount of store, uh, stars that are going to be available, it appears that we are only going to get uh, 89 overall so for those of you guys that saw that writing of a 95 overall until further notice we're gonna all assume that it's an 89 overall all right so let's go ahead I'm gonna jump into um you know pretty much one of the solos they're very they look to be very very quick I like I scrolled through I thought I saw all fourth quarter did you guys do that too you know like how you just want to make sure okay second quarter for the last one EA got us all right so for the most part you should be able to run through all of this now that I think about it though because it's only an 89 it's probably not going to um, you know work out for us too much uh, for those of us that don't want to waste the time doing that, I'm just going to jump into it because I like to show you guys pretty much what it entails so that you guys understand if it's worth the grind for your team, it's worth the grind for your team. Don't worry about what everybody else is doing. Worry about yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like if you have the time to grind it out, you get the 89, you still can use it in the, um, some of the exchange sets that I'm going to show you guys uh, in a couple minutes after we get through the solo. Now with the bonus star situation, right? I'm thinking that they gave you so many stars because many people are going to have issues with doing things like getting interceptions and, um, you know, being able to do some of the extra uh, bonus things for the challenges to get all the stars. So they gave you a lot more so that you don't have to uh, really go through a lot in order to get everything done. But for most of us here, we just want to go ahead and get it done. Like we're not trying to sit around and be wasting time. So we pretty much go for the gusto here. Um, that's the nature of the business. All right, let me just put, okay, Bruce Smith, you garbage. All right, all right, what, bro, hold on, hold on. Yo, they're going really, really quick on this, bro. Bro, they go, they're going really, really quick, low key. Though. Okay, why did he just move over there? Bro, why did this guy just move over there, though? All right, they're about, they about to hit us with something. They're about to hit us with something, bro. Oh, okay, yeah, you got, yeah. They definitely did hit us with something. All right, I don't even know what I just did right there. I don't think I was supposed to, um, I don't think I was supposed to move my guy. Why was Sanders over there? I, I think I have my defense all messed up. Unless I just did something weird. I, I don't know. Yeah, I think I did something weird. Yeah, he's just supposed to sit right there, pretty much. That dude's supposed to scream off the left right there. That's pretty much what's supposed to happen. Okay, so, okay. Oh, okay. Yo, that animation was crazy. But um, ideally, what you're trying to do, like I said, with the interceptions, uh, with the way that this game works, it's going to be probably relatively difficult for some of you guys to get that off. Um, so, you know, it's the fourth quarter. They have no timeouts. They should be going for the Hail Mary. The Hail Mary is usually the easiest way to get it. Uh, some of you guys may have to go uh, into the like the later parts of the game to get that done. But for you know, for most of us, we should. If they throw the ball up, we should be able to just get it. Like he screamed. Okay, he's not gonna. All right, I got. You know what it is, bro? Like, I, yo, this is gonna be like rather crazy to do it. I don't know if you guys, you know what I'm saying, want to go through that. But ideally, with the way that it works, um, getting the five stars is probably the easiest method to do it. I just don't like when. Um, you know, pretty much the computer doesn't really have time to throw the ball if you know what you're doing uh, as far as this goes. But like, let me see what he's doing there. Okay. Okay. He see Night Train Lane, bruh. Like, they already voted on you, bruh. Night Train Lane. They already voted on you. If you can't play D, you know what I'm saying, bro? We're just going to get champ badly. Like, if he can't play D, we might as well go get champ badly. Like, bro, it just rhymes. So that means that he's about to get raped. So, like, yo, dog, why is he playing D like that, though? Don't, don't sack him. Let him throw. Let him th Who are you throwing to? I didn't want to sack him right there. If we go inside the two minute warning, you know Sam Donald, he playing like he got mono right now. Like, what is he doing, man? All right, we're gonna have to see what we're doing here. All right, why did that guy move down though? I don't, I don't know why he didn't just move down. Okay, so he just got sacked on third and three. He's gonna go for the, um, he's probably gonna go for the, uh, you know, the fourth down play right here. Obviously, if we, we could probably just play. Should we blitz everybody? You know what I'm saying? Like the blitz is coming in too quick. I don't know if we should blitz everybody or just like do whatever, man. I don't know. Cause he's gonna he's gonna throw the ball too fast. He's gonna throw the ball too. Fast. Oh, he didn't get to throw it. He didn't get to throw it away. All right, whatever, bro. Like you guys can play around with that. I think ideally what you could do, if you don't want to blitz everybody, let me just show you guys what you could do. If you don't want to blitz everybody, pretty much what you could do is this. The only issue is if you let them get the ball off, it could it could be very very crazy. That that's the problem. Like you you don't have to blitz everyone. You see what I'm saying? Like, but he he's gonna throw it to the fly to do something. Oh, he's gonna run the ball. See, this is what I'm saying about this guy, man. This is what I'm saying about this guy. If you start doing stuff like that, the best thing to do, yo, man, like you try to play coverage and, and, and let him just be an idiot and then he just does that. Like, okay. 
okay, man, you got it. You got it, Sam Donald. Like, you try not to go crazy on him, but, like, this is what he's doing right now. Like, okay, right here. All right, he fumbles the ball. All right, we're done. We're done with this. We're done with this, guys. We're, like I said, you have to just go and just not blitz and just let these idiots... What just happened? Why, why did they just do that? He fumbled, so why didn't they... Why didn't they end, end the game? What, what is going on? If he fumbles, they don't end the game? Maybe after we run the ball right here, because I don't want to punt it right back. I want to give it to them with, like, no time left, so he has to do the Hail Mary. If it, if it ends right now, it should end, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't know why that just happened like that. That was really, really weird. So you're going to have to deal with stuff like that to get the bonus stars. You guys have to figure out, is it worth it to you, you know, to go through those challenges and get that stuff done? That's up to you if you want the 89 overall, depending on, you know, your skill threshold, what your team is doing, all that good stuff, all right? So let me know what you guys are thinking about that. Get back to me with that as far as um, what you're willing to do with that. But again, with the way that everything is right there, I, I really just don't know, guys. I don't know if I'm going to sit through that to get an 89 overall once they change the writing up. Because it just doesn't match up. 25K, I'll take though. All right, so look, there's a few things that we're going to go over right now. We got the Master Terrell Owens. We got the Master Champ Bailey. We're going to look over a few things real quick. But shout out to EA Sports for giving you guys an opportunity to get something free. Once they update that, we'll figure it out. Um, the writing shows one thing. Uh, but like I told you, the way that it's set up, it's not really working out that way. Now, look. This is what we're gonna talk about really quickly, all right? You got all the playoff bundles and stuff in the store. All right, you got a special offer. We might as well use that real quick. We'll go ahead. We always take the special offers. We don't have the $5, though, for that elite uh, weekly. Oh, look at that. Oh, 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 all for 85, okay. Bro, Daquan, though? Bro, Daquan, okay. Like, yeah, we're gonna do something with you. Um, so the training currency, the 95 overall playoffs hero. Now, if you guys kept a lot of the cards that we had in the previous one, right? Um, the previous promo with the zero chill you could actually exchange these cards now for training those 95s and get this amount of tra You know get decent amount everything is gonna go up in price now because that training is like 25,000 for those zero chill So if you guys were smart and you did what you were supposed to do You're probably gonna have a decent amount to be able to do this Okay, so what's gonna happen now is when you go to look for those same exact cards their value should be up because you know, the training value is going to be pretty much getting you all the NFL players. We'll take a look right now and see what's going on, but it should be up uh, based on what it is. Okay, so look, they went up from 300 to 321. People are still trying to figure out because right now what you're doing is you're interchanging uh, the cards that you want. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's pretty much what you're doing. You can use it for all training, get yourself a 95 overall from there, put it in the set for like the Terrell Owens or the Champ Bailey, whatever. You can do whatever you want as far as that goes. Um... But again, with the way that everything is, it looks like it's going to work out pretty well for us uh, if we kept some of those zero chill cards like we spoke about. Um, as far as the prices for the card, let's see what's going on. All right, so Terrell Owens is 654. That's not too bad. Um, Champ Bailey 659. Uh, we have to go ahead and um, check out a few things though to make sure with the set how that's going to work out. But ideally, if you guys wanted to go that route, you could use it. Um, use your training currency for those cards and just, you know, pretty much go and get a random playoff hero from the, um, the playoff set and just do whatever you want. You could play around with the 83 plus overall and possibly pull, I guess, a 95 uh, if you wanted to gamble like that. I don't recommend doing that because EA has made it pretty easy to get the cards. So more than likely, they're not going to let you just do whatever you want with that situation. So I would be very, very careful as far as that goes. Now, with the exchange sets, we were just talking about this with the rest of the Zero Chill. Um, make sure you go ahead and do your NFL you know, welcome set. Just you know, get a random card. But these right here, if you guys wanted to go ahead and um, you know exchange other elite players and get 83 plus overalls and play around with that, if you just wanted to go for the 91 and 93s, you can feel free to do all that stuff. You can use them inside of these sets over here to try to make up these players. Remember, if you have, you could just make Terrell Owens. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna get, um, you're gonna get a fantasy pack containing your choice of, of three NAT NFC playoff heroes. So when you look at the NFC playoff heroes, you can gauge what you're gonna want um, and complete this set. Get the Terrell Owens, who we are going to keep, uh, and upgrade him as well, and see what really matters for you, right? So look, we know that we're going after D Ford because he's the 49er and we, he has the finesse moves that we want. As far as Marshawn Lynch, we don't care about him. Drew Brees, we don't care about. Daniel Hunter, you see what I'm saying? Like they're both left ends, so we can't really do nothing with him. Plus he doesn't really have, he just, he's a real ideal speed rusher. He's probably a goon, but this guy's gonna be a 91 speed on our squad. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like, you know, what do we want to do here, guys? Like, do we want to just play around with it? Um, 
when you get them back as Nats, this is the only guy we're gonna keep. The other, the other two, you can just easily quick sell for training and then go ahead and recycle back into the set. So it might be worth it to go ahead and uh, do just do the set, get back the other card, and then you work it that way. I'm gonna explain that to you guys further how you can do it. Um, but with the way that this set is right now for uh, individually completing it, you'll see that with the cost of it, it's too much right now. Will these prices come down? Maybe. You see what I'm saying? But like I said, with the way that they have it set up, you can always go and gamble in the exchange sets and get these 93s. You could pull these 93s, these 91s, uh, whatever, and complete these sets that way. Or you could just go for the gusto, make the 95s, okay? Because it's any 95 overall NFC player. So you would have to be getting NFC players uh, to, you know, in order to do this. So it looks like it'll be about 900K. So you could pretty much gamble inside uh, the store with those sets, complete the Terrell Owen set, utilize that left end for what you know whatever because we're not going to keep michael strahan michael strahan is gone we're going to go with the d ford because he fits the criteria of, of our finesse move our speed rushers and he's a 49er and terrell owens obviously is a 49er so that works out as well so we're going to be able to just flip that we'll probably just sell off the strahan um quick sell them and just do whatever we got to do with that you know what i'm saying and then just go from there because either way you're gonna make it, if you sell the stray hand, you're gonna have to pay the tax. If you just go ahead and quick sell them, get the training points, and then gamble inside the store, you can keep re-rolling and pretty much go ahead and get the three that you're gonna need for this set by just quick selling the other cards that you have with zero chill for training and still make out, all right? Like, that's pretty much how I'm gonna do it. And like I said, I'll explain it to you when I go ahead and rage sell uh, Michael Strahan later. But with the way the sets go for the NFC, it's not really impressive to me, so I don't really care. Now, for those of you guys asking about Champ Bailey, would we get Champ Bailey and just make him an outright Goonie? I don't really care about any of these players either. So it wouldn't make any sense for this, because I, like, I don't want any of these players. Like, none of them. None of them are doing anything for me. They're not tickling my fancy. Like, nothing's happening. So for now, it looks like night training is just going to be chilling, because, you know, it doesn't really matter with the, with the play. Like, I, let's go look at his numbers real quick. I, I just don't, like I said, I don't really think that he's going to meet my criteria for what I'm doing with my team right now. He may meet the criteria for you, and that's fine. But only D Ford and TO is what I want currently right now as the master. So we can go ahead and... Um, Let's take a look at what, like, I think he's in the 600s again. We just saw him earlier. Would it be worth it? Because then remember, you got to also buy his other card. He had another card also. So with the way the prices are right now, he's 649. All right. If you guys wanted to go after him and put him on your team, 95, he'd go to 98 on my team. Uh, we already got Dion at 99. He got a 90 press. His hit power is not good, but I know he has, like, he probably gonna have good spin move and all that stuff. Just like Night Train. Night Train has, yeah, good spin move too and good juke move. Right? Yeah, so it's like, you know, pretty much Night Train is just doing this thing, um, you know, in a very similar fashion. The hit power situation is where it's going to get, like, dicey. You know, the 58, you know what I'm saying? He couldn't hit, he, bro, the dude couldn't hit stick a dead squirrel. Like, you going to really do that to Night Train? I don't know. Night Train just looks like he keeps skating, bro. Night Train is skating, dog. Like, because dudes is not really comparing to him. Like, 92 hit power. Um, he could take it to the house, too. He got good, he got good spin. He got good juke. You know what I'm saying? 88 and a 90 juke. You know, like he it, pretty much you could do whatever you want with Night Train. That's what makes it so hard. But it's just so crazy because as a corner, he has a 92 hit power. Like you click on and hit stick anybody. And the dude is fumbling the ball usually. So Chen Bale is going to be absolutely out. Now, with the way that we're going to work everything else, if you guys wanted to use the exchange sets, I've shown you that. Um, if you want to focus on getting the Nat 89, remember, whatever Nat 89 you get would be able to go into one of the sets. So you would be able to be that close to getting one of the, um, you know, one of the masters or the heroes, whatever they're calling them, and then, you know, being able to put them into the set. So that's something that you have to deal with. But I think ideally, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna raid sell Strahan, we're gonna look at some other ways to kind of manipulate the situation, and we're gonna create the Terrell Owens, keep the D Ford, and just move on with our day, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think that he's the only guy, out of everything that I saw, I think he's the only guy that I want right now. Now remember, they're gonna be releasing more stuff. So this is currently, for now, what we would be doing. Th again, with this guy right here, looking at his numbers, I'm going to show you guys something real quick. Let me just, I'm going to break it down real quick for you guys with D Ford. See, D Ford is a very unique card. Not only is he going to be a 99 finesse move, which is going to add to John Randall, but he has decent block shed and decent strength. You know what I'm saying? So you could, you're going to be able to do certain things with him 
that you won't be able to do with like, uh, hold on, let me, let me go over here and go to quality real quick. Let me just, okay, 95. And then we're gonna go to left end. See, Daniel Hunter's right there. He's gonna be one of the cheaper cards, um, you know, to get done. But let's uh, let's just go here, because somebody's probably gonna buy him. Now, 89 block shedding, 80 power moves, 95 finesse moves. So he's gonna, he goes to a 99 also, and he's a lot faster. I don't, bro, but then I'll have to have two. Bro, we might have to get two. I think we'll have to probably have both of them then. I guess we'll keep both of them. What's this dude's block shedding? Yeah, his block shedding is lower, but he's just like, see that other, hold up, is he gonna go to 99? I don't know if he'll go to 99. This guy is definitely 99. He's gonna be definitely 99 um, with that situation. It looks like we might have to just use both and just have, you know, just straight speed savages all over the place. Let me, let me, let me back out real quick. Um, oh, wait a minute, why, why did I just back out? I wanted to go back to Daniel Hunter real quick. Hold on. Let's go back to quality. We're going to go 95. And then we're going to go over to... Uh, back to the NFL playoffs with uh, Daniel Hunter again. I just want to see one thing with him. Is he actually going to a 99? No, he'll go to 96. He'll go... Yeah, his power His power is taken to a 96, right? All right, first of all, let, let's... um. Let me see. Because if, he, if he's going to be 99 finesse also, then... We're probably gonna have to rock out with him, but let me let me check because we're gonna be able to meet both thresholds. We'll get rid of Strahan, and we'll have a 49er starting now. And then, in addition to all of that, um, we'll be able to uh, get two players at a 99. You know what I'm saying? Is Daniel okay? So his power up is that. Do we have his power up? Let me check first. Let me let me check to see if we have a power up with him because I want to buy it and see what it actually goes to with his final tier. Because then we won't need uh, Julius Peppers for now. We'll be good. D Ford is already there. I know we have him. 69. Okay, 69. 69. Nah, we don't have him. All right, so we'll buy him for 1600 And let's take a look at it right now. Because we get finesse move from John Madden coach. You know what I'm saying? So if he also goes to 99, that's going to be a huge situation. We can't really pass up on that. We would pretty much be not... We won't be using Nick Bosa at all if that's something that happens all right so he goes to 96 so he gets plus two yeah he would go to 99 he would go to 99 but there's a lot of training involved um the football outside of 90 overall we'd have to look at that he also has this but that's not a big deal all right so it looks like we would probably have to get both of them now we're gonna have to get both of them and then we'll have him it's gonna be one two or the three four we'll have daniel hunter we'll have the other dude um with more speed 99 finesse they're all speed rushers and then um, pretty much we'll have to pick and choose how we can work it. But the bottom line is Michael Strahan is gone. Look, you know what I'm saying? Like, let's, let's just be happy with the first thing. Strahan is immediately getting, yo, bro, that dude is about to get demolished off the squad. He sucks. All right, hold on. Let me, let me go over here real quick. Hold on, hold on. Bro, easy, easy, lemon squeezy. Let me just go over here. We're going to make sure we have everything set because the speed that they're going to have also is going to be insane as well. So we'll be pretty good with that. Um, going forward so I think we're gonna get both speed rushes that we want and then we'll be good to go with that so let's go left end all right so Daniel Hunter speed rusher this guy's speed rusher both of them gonna be 99 uh, finesse move so it's gonna be three of them that have 99 so because three with John Randall we're gonna have three 99 finesse move players it's gonna be very very difficult for people to deal with us when we run our defensive blitzes and plus these guys are so fast um, the strength value and the block shedding we, we have to see how that works out but from my in my opinion all right it doesn't really matter as much once they have that 99 finesse move in my opinion but we also have to test it out so that's pretty much where we are right now so as you go through all the things with the nfl playoffs uh promo remember that more players are coming i've given you everything that we have you guys also see the packs if you guys wanted to dabble in that but if you guys were prepared with the zero chill stuff you should be good to go with this and you shouldn't have much issue with like using those zero chill players and converting them into the NFL playoff players. And I'll get to that very, very soon for all of you guys. I want to thank you guys and girls for watching. You have an unbelievable day. Until next time, one love.